Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Whichever time you are watching my channel, welcome. Y'all, I am hyped today because that liquidation store that I told y'all about, they had clothes in there for one dollar. And I'm in here eating. We have some bow to the jangles. And the chicken is on point. So is that biscuit. Let me show you. I done bit off some of that. But look at this biscuit. And you talking about buttery. I took half. I was supposed to take a quarter of it. But let me tell you. And slap some honey on it. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is what I want to show y'all. Have you tried this right here? This is a sweetie pie. A Bojangle sweetie pie. And this homeboy in here. Can you see that? Let me open this so you can get a glimpse of it. This homeboy right here. Look. This pie is up. Let me get into it. Look, 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 look. Let me show you. This pie right here. Look at that. Sweet potato is in there. Y'all, I don't know if y'all like sweet potato. Some people like pumpkin. That sweet potato is on point. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm not going to finish this on camera. But I'm hoping to show y'all a video and I might connect it to this video and then I may not. But I will check y'all out later. Hey, I'm back. Back at home. It has been raining all day. And we've been feeling it. And the weather has changed from the warm weather we've had. Everything was blooming and blossoming. And, uh, yeah. Wait, the grass is coming up some too. Of course, you know the weeds. But I have some things that I have been picking up and I just want to share them with you all. So, if y'all know of this pop shelf, well, they give out free gifts every so often. I think every four months. And uh, the last time we tried to pick up our gift, I guess, I don't know, we waited too long, wasn't able to pick it up, I mean, to pick a gift. So, I will have to register all over again. At that time, we were not feeling it, so we didn't do it. But here is, here are some of the things that they had given us. Um, my daughters and I went, um, and I want to take these things out. I had them for a little bit, and I want to take them out so that they can um, be in the place that I have for them, wherever that is. <laughs> Um, just some um, stationary things. And I thought that was cute. Little paper clips. Paper clips. And this, uh, what is it? Doesn't say what it is. These are clips as well. And two, um, are these gel pens? Oh, they're ballpoint pens. I have a set of earbuds and this from the little paper they have inside. And I thought that was cute. Um, I can use them for my tablet. And one more thing. It has this paper in here, but it is a book, a notebook. And uh, let me see. It is, oh, I'm sorry. It is um, notes page, years, what is this? Yearly calendars, holiday page. So it doesn't have anything in it. 
and it lets me know who it belongs to. And this was 2019, but I can, you know, do something else with that to 2020. And, you know, it has some pages in here, so I can still use this book and this other one. So this was that one, and here is the other book. And it's the same thing. I just want to put them up. These are red. The other ones were black. Oh, look at this. And these are little butterfly clips. Isn't that cute? And here's another set of these. And another set of ink pens. So I want to be able to put these things in its place and break this box down and rid myself of it because it is cute and purpley. But... It needs to go. And I forgot to share with y'all my scent of the day. Yes, I am still wearing the frosted coconut. Uh, I'm sorry, frosted coconut snowball. I am wearing this today. And I am almost done with this. But I still have a good ways to go. Let me turn it this way. And I'm grateful that it is halfway. And it is a soft coconut scent. But I feel like the... Vanilla that's in here is the strongest, is the dominant one. And it's Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow Kissed Woods, Spun Sugar. So it's a nice, I think it's a mature coconut with a little sweetness to it. We had went to Walmart. And if you have the app, anybody ever look at the videos that they have online, they show that you can the app to scan the items and you will find out at times that the price that is shown on the package or the product is not what it is selling for in the store and it is cheaper than what it is selling for so it is different in each um, Walmart. They can have different prices and some can be as low as a dollar or more or less. And I think some people would find it things like 50 cents a quarter, but a penny, I'm not sure about a penny, but I know mine goes as low as $1. And I think that is a good deal. So we saw some comforters in there and uh i'm glad i scanned it because uh it was cheaper than what the price was advertising so here are the comforters that we picked up here is one and this was saying 17 dollars 82 if you can see that price and it is not that uh the highest one i think we picked up was five dollars and uh, this is a super soft textured plush blanket. And this is a king size, y'all. So, wonderful. And you can scan it here if you want to. I'll put it up here and you can scan it and see what the price is at your store. Okay, let me put this over to the side. Here's another one. That one was gray. This one is blue. And I'll put this back here so you can scan it. But yes, they are soft. Yes, they are. And I'm hoping to enjoy this whenever we need it. We have a cold front coming. And uh, yeah, we have to, we're going to break it open. But here's another one, y'all. Oh, this thing is soft. Woo! But this one, let me show it. I have it upside down. Here's this one. Let me put it up closer. It's like big, y'all. And this is a luxury velvet plush blanket. So isn't it wrapped nice and pretty? Y'all, we gonna enjoy this thing. Okay, and I got another one. Now, some of them were low as $3 and some change. 
But like I said, you can scan and see if it's um, cheaper at your store. And this is, of course, my purple, y'all. Look at this. And this is a twin. And it's a super soft textured plush blanket. Now, you know, this thing feel good. But yes, check them out. It was something else I wanted to show y'all. I got to go get that. But, okay, that's it for that. Trying to make sure I got it all done. I went to Dollar Tree and picked up something from there. These are dryer balls. I want to try these and see how they work. They're supposed to, like, fluff up your... Um, I guess laundry um, items and you don't have to use per se dryer sheets or fabric softener. So I want to see how that goes, but I did read something on here and it, it was one of them. I don't know if they're good to use. So that's why I hadn't used them yet. I'm, I'm debating on whether or not to use them or turn them back in, but uh, we shall see. Well, this is a product that I had purchased and I wanted to check it out. And this is pain relief balm. And this is like for the tiger balm. This is supposed to be, um, somebody was saying like had the same ingredients in it. So I wanted to see how this was. $1.25 compared to about um, $8 or more for the tiger balm. So I'm going to check this out and see how this works. Um, I picked up, of course, some fingernail polish. Um, I'm trying to keep my nails and have them look presentable, but you can see here that one is not even with the rest of them. Uh, this one either, right here, and my thumb broke off. So I'm trying to have my, this was a nice long one, but it did not... You know, it keeps breaking off. I'm hitting it up against something. Are they snagging? So I was going to try to see if this will help. Of course, you have to be straightened out on the inside for it to work on the outside. Because I know when I'm eating right, um, my nails do grow. But they're just breaking off, I guess, depends on what I'm doing. And here's another one that I want to try. I went to Ross and picked up me some things and hopefully they will work for me because I am trying to get my workout on and I we saw these and my husband's like, you want something more that pay us? So I was like, yes. So picked up these and it is hard for me to find my size in a decent shoe. So I thought these were cute and this is a nice cute color. Yes, I wear a size 11, y'all. 10 and a half if I can find it, but majority of the times I'm wearing a size 11. And these are Skechers and um, they're light weight. They're not heavy, not at all. I don't need nothing else heavy and I'm already heavy. So I'm looking for that to be nice to wear. I decided to get these. Oh, I didn't tell y'all the price on those. These were $35.99. Let me see if I can get it together so I can hold it and show you. $35.99. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a um, Skechers outlet here near me, but they say they don't carry a size 11. I was offended. These were marked down. The original price for these were $44.99, but I got them for $39.99. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, this is how I look in the back. And the front. So I can go find me something cute and purpley. Exercising, I already have something purple, a purple shirt. And it's getting cold. It's supposed to be in the 20s next week. So, I'm going to uh, probably break this out. I'm not sure if I showed this on a video before, but 
Y'all look, it's gonna be cold. So I might just wear this this year instead of holding it for uh, next year. And of course this, I can wear this Sunday. Girl, honey, I went to Kato's and picked that up. This is Kato's. Went to Kato's and picked this up. Oh, this thing is so lovely. Let me see if I can put it on my dome and see if I can fit it. I think this is gonna be so cute when I wear this Sunday. I might wear it Sunday, I don't know. But I think this is so lovely with the top. Put this on with it and just. So. I thought these were cute, so. They don't go together, but maybe I can wear this when I go out walking. Or maybe wear that Sunday and just keep this other, um, what is it called? Keep my scarf. And just keep my scarf for next year. Infinity scarf, that's what it's called. Okay, I did that. Still in Kato's, y'all. And I went there and purchased some items. Got me something, a casual shirt. And I can't hold it up right. Let me see if I can get it up. Maybe I should have put it on a hanger so y'all could see it. But I got me this nice long sleeve and uh, it drips on each side to cover the... Uh, Give me good coverage. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> and I thought this was cute. A nice plain jack, um, sweater-like shirt. And uh, let me see. This is an extra large. It was $22.99, but I got it for $9.99. So I thought that was cute. They're holding on to their prices in uh, Kato's. I don't know who else goes there. But it seems like they're holding on to their... Uh, items this was cute and i got this in an extra large i don't know maybe i should have got a large but i just got an extra large because i've been filling out my clothes y'all and i thought this was lovely if you can see how it's made this was 22.99 went down to 15.99 and i got it for 9.99 so, maybe I could sport, uh, <laughs> no, that color, that purple doesn't go with this. But, yeah, I thought this was lovely, and it looks nice and cool, something I can wear in the summertime. The sleeves roll up, they have a button where I can roll the sleeve up and put this on it if I want. So, I thought this was cute. And my color purple. Now, this is a little festive looking um, shirt right here. But I thought this would be something I could work out in, um, go and uh, walk in. Isn't that cute? And it's saying, feeling festive. Isn't that cute, y'all? And the color, I don't think I have anything this color. So I thought this was something nice. And I got this in a size large. Because this look like this is nice and roomy. I don't want to get my clothes too big. I maybe should have gotten a large. But I know sometimes this type of material seemed like it could be a little, you know, it could run smaller in a smaller size. So I just went on and got an extra large. If it gets too big, I could put it up because my weight be like up and down. I be trying to control it. And this is how the sleeves look. But this is, oh, this feels so nice and soft, y'all. Yes. This was $22.99 as well. It was marked down to $15.99, then $9.99, and I got it for $5.99. And my last item, I want to show y'all my trash can. I will, and I have something else in here too. But my trash can is getting ready to be put in its place. I had given my husband my other trash can. It's smaller. 
but I wanted this on my workstation. I thought this was so cute and look at the color. What is that surfacing up at the top? My purple. So I thought that was cute and green life. Yes. So royalty is on top and life is at the bottom. So I don't know what blue means, but anyway, I thought this was so cute and I'm going to be using this in my, um, at my workstation. Now, this is something that I found. I thought this was lovely for my candles. Now, the original price, and this is it here. Only thing was, that was missing. If you can see right here. But it was marked down, and I'm probably going to put this downstairs. Isn't that lovely, y'all? Beautiful. This is so pretty. So the original price was $9.99, and I got it for $4.99. And all I have to do is put this back on. So, and I'm going to show y'all this last item, Bath and Body Works, went to the sale that they had today, where they um, had a sale on their candles, and um, I didn't get anything because I'm still trying to use it up. I'm waiting for the semi-annual and probably wait, probably won't buy any candles till next year. Well, not next year, but the ending of the year when they have candle day, if I decide to get any more candles. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at this. I picked this up today. This is Midnight Blue Citrus. And it says Juicy Citrus Spring Water Sweet Mango. And it does smell. It smells. It does seem like I'm smelling vanilla or it's on. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> This lotion that I have, uh, I had put this on myself. And this is by Miel, Miel Miel. It is called Pomegranate and Honey. I have put this on my hands. So I cannot tell you how this candle smell. All I could give you is the um, fragrance notes. And yes, this is a three wick candle. And this is lovely. Do y'all see that matte finish? Isn't that pretty? So this candle is for my son. I decided not to buy any candles. This is $26.99, so I picked this up for him. Original price. But they had them for $12, and I'm not sure what the change was. But around $12, if you had a 25% off discount, then you were able to get some uh, more off. So... I didn't have that, so I just went on and got that for him and something to hold him. He's getting into candles now, so thank you so much for watching my channel. Y'all, you know what I'm getting ready to say. I need y'all to subscribe. I need you to not just subscribe, but to watch my channel, watch my videos. I need that watch time. And I also need you to like my videos so I can get them further down YouTube lane. Thank you so much. You all be safe. Be blessed. 